So today we are covering a very important topic that many of you get upset about. Should you run with one in the chamber or should you not? We're gonna cover that today. Let's jump right into it. So recently we posted a short going over one in the chamber, one not in the chamber, and there's honest been a lot of comments, both good and bad and just kind of in the middle whole bunch of talking. So we're gonna go over a lot of those concerns and all that kind of stuff, kind of really dive deep into this matter as a whole. And we do realize we're not the first ones. There's plenty of other people that have done it. This is just gonna be our opinion, our take on it. So we're gonna jump right into it. All right, so we're down here on the range. We're gonna go over one in the chamber, one not in the chamber. Again, for all you people out there that are just love that short so much. So we're gonna start off with one not in the chamber. And then the next one is gonna be one in the chamber. Show the pros and cons of both. All right, so we have Daryl downrange, and let's say he is going to charge me. Now this situation, I don't have one in the chamber. Now there's a couple of different ways you can do this. If he's far enough away, you can pull your gun out, rack back, able to defend yourself, or they just rack it just so he knows that it's loaded. And uh, if he takes another step, well, it's not gonna feel so good. In this instance, since we're at this distance and we're gonna be shooting steel, you might be a little bit closer up in an actual situation, but let's say in this situation, you actually have time, so. All right, so still pretty quick. Again, I don't really train with drawing, racking, and then shooting. So I might be a little bit slower than uh, ideal. In that situation, you might have a little bit extra time, but if someone is up close on you, let's say a second or less, you might not have time to pull it out and or rack, which goes into another thing of using your left hand to defend yourself or using it for whatever other reason, or let's say it's hurt. You're carrying someone, something, Whatever it might be, let's say your left hand is not there. Racking with one is, that's gonna be a little bit difficult. So I'm gonna attempt, again, we don't have one in the magazine, nor do we have one in the chamber. We're gonna try to do this as safely as possible. I'm gonna try to draw and rack without using my left hand. And again, I'm running iron, so there's no optic to help me out. So let's see how this goes. That just tastes weird. <laughs> Yeah. That's just a little ridiculous. I could have done it in a lot more different ways, but the point is you're not gonna have all that precious time I just had in an actual stressful situation. So let's go on to having one in the chamber and show you why that's a little bit more beneficial. So we have one in the chamber and Mr. Daryl is running at me again. Now, this time, I don't have to worry about racking the slide or worrying about anything. Hey, back away, back away. If that verbal communication with that person is not getting through their head, well, something else is gonna go right through their head. So I don't have to think about, hey, you know, I have to rack my slide in a stressful situation. We're gonna do the one-handed technique here. Again, we don't have to rack the slide, don't have to worry about that. So if an opponent does come up, just like that. These are things you gotta think about as far as carrying one in the chamber, not carrying one in the chamber. And again, the whole safety thing, we went over that in a short, so go check that out. One thing I will say is, if you're not comfortable with your firearm, try to train with it a little bit more, do some dry fire techniques, get comfortable with your firearm overall. Because the biggest concern with carrying one in the chamber is that you're gonna shoot yourself in the leg or the reproductive system down there. And no one ever wants to do that. I just shot myself. When I first started carrying, I was worried about that too. It really comes down to training, trigger discipline, all that good stuff. A lot of the basics that a lot of people kind of go over. They just want to get to the fun stuff. But in all reality, when it comes to firearms, really focus on safety, uh, trigger discipline, all that good stuff. So what have we learned today, kids? Well, we've learned a very, very valuable lesson that while you might not be comfortable carrying one in the chamber, those valuable little seconds, my goodness, heck, even milliseconds could be the difference between saving your life or someone else. I am really getting tired of saying this and I promise you going forward, we're gonna try not to make any more content revolving this topic because, oh my Lord, we, we every single day we get a comment regarding that video. So um, in all seriousness, this is just a very, very interesting topic. Just because if you run one in the chamber, like we did today, you're able to effectively take care of the target, take care of the situation that you're in without having to worry about your firearm. The one thing you worry about is your life, friends or family, and the person that's trying to harm you and or others. You just wanna focus on that. You wanna watch their movements. You wanna watch what's going on. You wanna be aware of your surroundings and not focusing kind of like here and making sure it's racked and all that good stuff. We were trying to go over that today in a very silly, but in reality, a very serious manner. A lot of y'all brought up a lot of great comments from the short. 
and that's why we're kind of explaining that today. Hope you enjoyed it. I know this is a little bit different video, but we're going to be going over some more touchy topics if you want to put it like that. Just because I think it's it's very much needed and just to get another opinion, outlook on it, different perspective. Whether you care or not, I can't, I can't really control that, but this is just our opinion on the matter. Again, we hope you enjoy the video, guys. No, 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 no. They already know that, uh, you know, if they don't subscribe, they're just an absolute piece of shit. But, uh, I mean, I, I, I mean, like, between you and me, I would never tell them that or, like, or anything like that. Like, honestly, I think they should buy our merch because, I mean, this stuff is fire. I mean, it's just beautiful merch, but I would never say that. Like, right. is the camera rolling? Hey, dude, what the f-